Okay, here's the update. It's been two years using the roll-off roof observatory, the plastic slide lid shed that I modified, and here's some updates. Here's the latest update. This is a sky camera that I built out of a, this is an electrical box, a L bracket, and a wise security camera. And yeah, I just put um, black tape around it so that it won't have reflections when it looks at the sky. But I was doing pretty good. It's all Wi-Fi. It's not the best, but it's a plastic housing from Amazon, but it works. Another update I did was I extended my rails all the way back here now. And it still needs to be um, covered with some um, stain to match this one, this side over here. But the latest update is, here we go. Motorized roof now. Close it. All right, let me open it and show you what I did. This is a gate opener that a lot of people are using. You just gotta modify it and make it work for you because no instructions on this kind of stuff. You just gotta put it together and uh, put it together where it fits your stuff and works for you. So this is, I had to build all this right here. Some, um, it's all pressure treated lumber. And coming this spring, I'll run this wire on the inside up under here, like the power cord. But this is a addition I just did about a week ago. So you had to put stop sensors on here and all this is pressure treated wood on the top. And I got my rails all along here with um, nuts and bolts and lock washers behind here pressure treated wood see this this roof was um two levels so i had to modify the roof where it won't slide anymore and weather stripping around it and that's how i had to do the wood here's a stop sensor back here and that's why the rails were extended so i had to cut all that metal and everything and get it extended and on the inside added this little um gate hook thing to the, keep your door open handles the inside now I did put some insulation in here to help with some of the condensation when you have the morning dew the forms and it works a whole real good so this is the inside right here had extending rails this way and modify everything to fit so I have enough room where the scope can do meridian flips without actually hitting the rails so it barely fits. I mean, this barely fits in, but it, it fits. So I just use basic two by fours. I cut some blocks of wood up under here, some brackets and things like that, and just trial and error to get it to work right, but it works. And this looks like under here. Here's another addition right here. This is a Wi-Fi relay contact closure switch that I purchased. And um, this will allow you to control the roof anywhere. You don't, I mean, you don't even have to be home to do it. So if you don't have the remote, you still can close it. Or you can come right here and press it. It. And also I have um, this addition. I did this two years ago, which is the uh, the LED strips. You can change it to white, change it to all kind of colors so you can see. So this is inside right now. And I also, um, I put latches in so that if it's very windy, I can still use that latch right there with a um, carabiner. And I have one on the outside for here to can use for that. But so far this roof has survived. We had the big wind storms about a month ago when it was like 35, 45 mile per hour gusts. This roof didn't go anywhere. Um, it's actually heavier now with the wood on it. This I did the rails on the inside with the, the wheels. Basic some um, blocks of wood to the ceiling, wheel here, and the brackets I put up under here that lock the roof in place so the roof will not separate anymore. Same thing on this side here. And that's basically how it works. So, camera right here so I can see what's going on on the inside and dehumidifier still works. Also what I did is no more laptop for this um, observatory. I used to always bring a laptop in the house. Now I just bought a, uh, this is a B-Link micro PC. It's very, very tiny. It's uh, all solid state. Uh, this one's like 16 gig RAM, 500 gig solid state hard drive and it's Wi-Fi 6, everything like that. It just stays in here. And I bought a wireless keyboard and mouse um, just to 
Bluetooth monitor that I hooked up as an old flat TV. So you could, if you need to configure things from inside here, you can. If not, just remote into it, remote desktop remotely. And if this PC is ever off, I bought a switch bot wireless switch right here. So this little lever, when you with your phone, you can control this lever come up and hits the power button and turns it on because since I'm over Wi-Fi, it's kind of hard to configure wake over land with Wi-Fi if the computer's off. So that works very well. And I'll just transfer everything wirelessly back to the house and good to go. So this ADSC is still in here. Um, this is the actually parked position now because I have everything automated where I have it parked. It goes all the way like this and I can close the roof from the bed in the morning. The addition is um, as far as my power out here, I still have my regular power strips, but it's for the telescope and for the heating pad that I still have in here. That's all on a smart outdoor outlet now. I'm one of these constant ones, so I have uh, like the heating pad and telescope power. So remotely, you could just turn on the entire strip right here or remotely turn it off and you don't even have to come outside. The past five image sessions I've, I've done, I've never even came out here now. I just remote into the computer that's in here, um, open the roof remotely or with the Wi-Fi switch and I start my Nina sequence and it waits a certain time the scope automatically unparks to its position and starts moving finds the target and starts working when it's finished early in the morning the scope goes back to park position i'm still in bed i just hit the remote control and close the roof i don't even come outside and I also put a um this is a ring outdoor sensor in here so that anytime this roof opens i get an alert on my phone anytime the roof closes i get an alert on my phone so I just set up just to alert my phone only. It doesn't do anything with the ring alarm or anything. It just lets you know, hey, roof's open. Hey, roof's closed. And that works very, very well. So I have a wireless um, temperature and humidity sensor in here. These fans are still going. Just a little rust on the, um, the metal cage, but they're still going every single day. It's two years now. It's still going pretty good. Next thing I plan on doing is I already purchased all the Arduino boards to connect to the motor and Nina and all that stuff. I have everything to them. Get all that wired up i just have to wait for the weather to get better and i'll probably come out here and do all that that way everything will be fully automated as far as um it will close the roof automatically open the roof automatically i don't even have to use the remote or that switch right here um, everything will be remotely so that's one good thing about Arduino. so as of now um as far as how i connected all the wood i still use like my washers and um the proper screws that will not rust on the outside. See, these screws are still two years old. Nothing's rusting or anything. But it seems to be working pretty good. It's still holding up two years. This is the, uh, here's the solar panel. It's a little bit worn down, but hey, it still works. And also everywhere where I drilled on top here with the wood, I did seal with uh, tar. See, tar, I have beads of tar all around here, all around everything so that water should not come through anything. So far, this inside has been very, very dry. Once in a while, I had like a little splatter water right here, just like a few drips, and always around the threshold of the door. You have a little bit where the rain and stuff comes in. And that's been pretty dry. So that's the update to the plastic lid. Observatory that's been converted to roll off roof. So it's still weird how you just hit the button and just Everything opens up. I see what everyone's talking about now. When you have a roll off roof, it's just, it's, you could just do this all day long. Just watch it move. And just like I said, um, after about two years of being in extreme heat and cold, the plastic that's on here does warp a little bit. It bows just a little bit, but other than that, everything seems pretty good. See how I sealed everything like this? Just like this generator shed that I built. This has got to be about six years old now. It works just a little bit, but it's still, still holding up. And that's just a solar panel that keeps the battery for the uh, generator fully topped off. So it can start it without pulling the cord and everything. 